I'm going to teach you how to create a citation in APA format for your project. We are going to use this website about DaVinci as an example website of how to make a citation. So, in order to make a citation, first you need to find a source, which I have done. It's this website about DaVinci. Then, I'm going for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to go to this website called citationmachine.net. This website will actually make the citation for me. You can get to this website by going to the project resources page in the unit 5 module on my learning, which I've posted for you. You can also just Google citation machine and you will get to it just fine. So, we are using APA format for this project because social studies classes and social sciences always use APA format, so that's what we're going to use. We're making sure this is an APA format, and then we're going to make sure that we have selected a website as our source because I'm citing a website today in this tutorial. I am going to select manual entry mode. And then I'm going to begin filling out this information about my source. The first thing that I need is the URL, which is this. This is the web address or the URL. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in here. Now I have my URL. Now I need to find the article title, the author, and the date that it was published. I already know the date access, which is today, because I went to this website today. Okay, let's look for the article title. This article on this website is called Da Vinci, the Renaissance Man. I'm going to type that here. Okay, now I have my article title inputted and I need to find the author. Authors of web pages are typically at the bottom. The author of this web page is the Museum of Science. Since this is a museum and not a person, I am going to cite I'm going to cite it by typing the full thing in the last name box. Whenever you're citing an author or I'm sorry, whenever you're citing a corporation or a group of people for authors or a company or anything like this, like a museum, you always put it in the last name box so it appears as one section of your citation. I will show you what I mean once the citation is finished. The last thing I need to find to complete my citation is the date that this website was published. Again, I'm going to check the bottom. The author and the date published are usually together. We can see that this website was started in 1996, but has been most recently updated in 2017. For my citation, I'm going to use the year 2017 as the date that this was published because that's when this website was updated. Now I have all the information from my website and I'm ready to create my citation. If you are having a hard time finding this information, your website is probably not a good source and you're going to want to find a different website. You need to have as much of this as you possibly can. Now my citation has been created. This is what a citation looks like. It is not just the URL. It has all of this information. I am going to copy this citation and I'm going to paste it into my Word document online and now my citation is saved for when I decide to make my works cited page for the project. Remember you need five sources to meet the requirements and you need seven sources if you would like an A. Another thing to note if I were to say go to a different page of this Da Vinci website, let's say Da Vinci the Inventor, I would need to make a new citation if I was going to take a quote from this page because this has a new title. If you have questions about APA format and want to know more about it, you can go to a website called the Purdue OWL. I've also placed a link to the Purdue OWL in the project resources page on my learning. You can look, view the Purdue OWL site and it will tell you absolutely everything you could ever want to know about APA citation and probably a lot more information than you really want to know. But this is a place you can check to make sure you're doing everything correctly. For those of you who are writing a paper, you can check here to make sure your paper is in the correct format, which means it has the title page and a certain type of header. Of course, you can ask me questions in class about how to create the correct format, but this 
Purdue Owl website is an excellent source for you as well.